powerful thing that we people have underestimated ever since we knew how to create weapons, ever since we started to make money, ever since dominance and superiority have invaded a leader's mindset. John F. Kennedy once said, the rights of every man are diminished when the rights of one man are threatened. Today, people randomly accuse anybody of violating human rights. People randomly accuse people of manipulating innocent people abusively in order to reach personal desires or goals. People want to know who is responsible behind the chaos and corruption we're living in and suffering from every single day. The problem is that person is, stand, is standing behind right, the, right behind those accusatory fingers each and every one points out. We are the cause behind this chaos, and today I'm going to show you how. Once upon a time, we had the right to choose the leaders that represent us inside and outside our country. We had the right to choose the leaders who ensure our safety. We had the right to choose the leaders who offer us our complete health care and education. Once upon a time, we chose those leaders who made sure we won't be able to do that again. We chose to walk into no man's land where we cannot find any of our high quality education because it's too expensive. Where we cannot earn a respectful living because the minimum wage is barely enough for food and shelter. Where a person has to wake up, work, pay his bills, debts, taxes, sleep, and repeat. Yes, people. Right now, I have to worry about the tuition fees that I may not be able to afford in the upcoming years. I have to worry about work and live with the fact that one out of three individuals in this sorry country is sitting at home and cannot find a single job. But that's just us. Other people in this world have even greater worries. One out of every seven individuals in this globe is undernourished and is suffering from hunger. And more than three billion people in this world live on 2.5 US dollars a day. He died in a terrorist attack. His sister is not allowed to go to school. His brother was kidnapped on the doorsteps of his school. His father cannot afford three meals a day for his family and his mother's tears kept rushing. These are day-to-day -day cases we've all witnessed. These are cases we are guilty of because we were witnesses and we kept our mouths shut. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the lack of our unity that has made our decisions weak. It is the lack of our unity that has made us vulnerable to terrorism, to abuse, to bloodshed, fear, injustice. What does that mean? How can we react to such issues? Simple. Stop the clock and be the change. <coughs> Stop the clock and think about how you can make this world a better place. Stop the clock and think about how you can lead your community and evolve equally. Think about those who were born and died in war. Think about those who, sorry, think about those Imagine yourself in a world where you do not have to have two jobs in order to earn a respectful living. Imagine yourself in a world where you don't have to worry about sending your kids to play outside because the outside world is not, is not safe anymore. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a world we all want. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. And remember, don't even wait for change. Be the change, lead the change. Thank you.